The trial for the four men facing federal charges and the alleged plot to kidnap and kill Governor Gretchen Whitmer has begun. A jury has been seated in the case against Adam Fox, Barry Croft, Daniel Harris and Brandon Concerta. Prosecutors allege that they came up with the plot after becoming upset with Governor Whitmer's COVID policies, while lawyers say they were entrapped. Earlier in the day, a couple of jurors were dismissed for their views of the governor. Others felt that they could not find the defendants innocent due to the media's coverage of the plot. The trial could last five to six weeks. Stick with Fox 47 News as we bring you the latest updates on this case. And a new state task force has been created to support LGBTQ families who want to foster or adopt. The state has about 11,000 children in foster care right now, and they recently settled a lawsuit allowing religious charities to refuse foster and adoption services to those families. Because of that settlement, some LGBTQ families say they don't have access to support through the fostering and adoption process. The task force has 20 members right now, and it is open to more. It will also meet over the next six months and come up with recommendations. That's to strengthen the support for LGBTQ families. Lansing Community College and General Motors are teaming up to provide talent to the upcoming GM battery plant in Delta Township. The school is bolstering its course offerings to teach students the skills that they need for the electric vehicle market. LCC is always asking electrical suppliers and contractors what they need in a workforce, and they're developing courses to teach those skills. Some students are already considering the new plant as a potential employer for when they do graduate.